the wrong button. Off to a fantastic start. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here. Welcome back to the FPV Mix, the greatest live stream on the internet. Strap yourself in, grab yourself a cup of coffee, a soda water, a beer, whatever it is that you want to partake in. Sit back, relax, and get ready to enjoy yourself for the next 90 minutes. Mic check, mic check. Here we go. Let's see who is in the house because uh, today it's a bit different. We're starting at a different time. It is still 10 a.m. here in Australia, but we had uh, daylight savings time. I'm trying to get this mic in the right position too, because a couple of people were saying last time uh, it was a little bit off, and I think it depends whether I'm facing this camera or whether I'm facing the microphone and just how well it's coming through. Uh, Kiz Bartlett says, oh my, clipping audio, distorted mic stew. Oh, please fix, mic is not good. All right, bear with me. Um, hmm. Let's see, maybe I messed up one of these. Oh. What about now? Is that any better? Mic check, mic check. And I'm waiting on the comments. I think uh, I think I know what's happened. Is that is that good or bad? Jace Kiz is saying looks like he knows how to how we go. <laughs> oh better. Okay, so hopefully that's better. I know what's happened. My daughter's been in here mucking around with this microphone and there is a little uh, gain adjustment on the back. It was turned completely the other way, but maybe I could turn it up just, just a tad. Maybe that's going to be better. There we go. I'm going to leave it there until people keep... keep uh, Telling me, telling me otherwise. But anyway, welcome back to the FAV Mix, the greatest live stream on the internet. Strap yourself in, grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, whatever it is that you are interested in. Sit back, relax for the next 90 minutes. We're going to be hanging out, answering some drone questions. We're going to be looking at clip that. We're going to be calling my mum and generally just having a good time. We've got 44 people watching. Eight thumbs up. Well, we've got nine now. And I just want to say thanks to you guys for tuning in because I'm sorry. Uh, well, I'm not I'm not sorry, but, uh, you know, thanks for adjusting to the new time. So Jay's saying Stu's playing with the sausage. Chuck a toast says, I like wine. I really don't like wine, but I'm glad that you are enjoying it right there. It's a Monday morning. We've got Grumpy FPV. I saw Gunner351. He's saying much better as well. Uh, Johnny DRC, always blame the kids. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Let me get my little uh, timetable up here and st um, stuff that is supposed to be happening. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that the mic is okay. Do I need to do any more adjusting? Please let me know. How does this sound? Is the gain at the correct levels? All that sort of stuff. I bet you the audio would have been absolutely disgusting when we first turned it on if it was set to 100% uh, maximum. Let's check this out. All right. Uh, and we might also do, it looks like we've got here, I've got UAV pooches written down, so uh, we might be doing that as well. And if you've got some questions for my mother, uh, please throw them in the chat as well. Oh, I was, oops. I was meant to let her know... Um, what time I was going to call her. Let's say I'm going to text her right now and I'll say I'll call you in. Let's let's write a message to my mum. I'll call you in half an hour because she might still be on the old time because they're in the state that they're in. They don't get daylight savings. All right, let's send a message to my mother dearest. Let's see. I will call in 30 mins. All right. Okay, let's let's do that. Mike is fine. Just please don't sing. Uh, adjust your sausage, and that should be good. Kiz Bartlett says 100% gain. G'day, Stu. Scared me into next week. Oh god, I'm gonna have to go back there and listen to that. JFPV says I did some flying today, Stu. Well, I can't wait to see. Please put post up some of those videos. Fitz Flight says g'day. Light savings time. And JFPV and it says is to and toxic is wrecking his quad right now. We'll go get some toxic. I uh, hope you have some awesome flights right there. We've got inverted FPV, whose name is the trickiest to track down ever. It's very hard if I ever try to tag him in Discord. I've just had to give up. Um, it's safe till next stream. And I should put a little mark, actually. I should mark it with a text or something on there. And Chuck Toast says, it's my, my time is so old, it's still Sunday. And we've also seen Chucker FPV. I want to give a shout out to him uh, if he ever turns up in the chat. Because it looks like he might be 20 minutes drive away, which is... 
It's kind of crazy. 20 to minutes, the half an hour away, we might be able to go rip some pa Oh, there he is. Speak of the devil. He says, my ears are still bleeding from the start. Uh, Chucka FPV, you're, uh, did you send me an email recently? I'm just, just double checking if that is, if that is you. And uh, I think we're very, very... I'm in G-Town, so you might be very, very close. We might be able to go rip some packs. Lost Fish 76 says, Is Headless Mode the same as Acro Mode? So it's a great question. And I'm going to say, no, absolutely not. So if you are flying around in Acro Mode, all that refers to is... Here's, here's my wonderful uh, little quad right here. Is if it's in Acro Mode, you uh, you press an orientation and it will just hold that until you give it some opposite input. So you, okay, you're going to push some pitch the quad will tip pitch forward and it will just stay there. Even when you let go of the sticks, it will stay in that orientation. In self-level mode, like horizon mode or angle mode, you're flying around, you push pitch, you let go of the thumb of the, the pitch stick and it will bring itself back to self-leveled. Headless mode, is uh, you are never going to fly headless mode FPV. That uh, that pertains to when you fly around and if you turn left and then the controls stay left, if that makes sense. That's more for like a line of sight pilot, as far as I can uh, tell anyway. I've, I've To be honest, I've never actually used headless mode, but I've seen headless mode listed a lot of times. It's really made for kids. So no matter which orientation the drone is, if they press left, the drone is going to go left. If they press right, the drone is going to go right. doesn't matter whether it's facing away from you or whether it's facing towards you. Uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Acro is the default in beta flight. And a lot of people I've seen of like, and I'm going to put random family man, uh, he, he spoke to me about this and something I've never really thought of. As somebody just coming up to, coming into the hobby, hey, what's going on Twisted? I can see you there. If you're coming into the hobby and you you hear everybody saying, hey, you got to fly Acro, you got to fly Acro, it should just be called default. Like it's before you turn any of the other assistants on. You should It should be called non-assisted flight. It doesn't sound quite as fancy, but it used to be called rate mode. Um, but yeah, it used to, it, it, you don't need to turn on any of the modes. It's, it's in there by default. It will be flying acro by default unless you turn on some of those assists. Think of it like driving a car and then, uh, you might want to turn on, I don't know, some ABS or, uh, I don't, oh man, I wish I knew stuff about cars, but we sh if you turn on some of those driving aids, traction control, all that sort of stuff. So that's what you add on after. You're going to drive the car default, that would be acro mode, and then you start adding in all those assists. That's like angle mode, sausage mode, whatever it's going to be. Gunner351 with the uh, first donation of the day for $3. He says, still no donation goal. I don't know, what should, what should we do as a goal, guys? I can, um... We can we can leave that up to you. We'll put that in in here. You know, it could just be like, hey, supporting the channel. But uh, we'll have we'll have to see how it goes. Um, Fitz Flight says Stu to run Beta Flight. Stu to run for Beta Flight. Okay, Spectrum when sent from iFlight. Okay, so Squeak, you need to put. Uh, all your messages into one sentence. Here's, here's a tip for anybody. If you're sending through a comment or anything like that, put as much information as you can in your one comment. Don't space it out by like six different things because before you know it, you're going to have other people's chats in there as well. It makes it very, very tricky. What I'm going to ask you to do right now, uh, we got Raven187 as well. He says, is this an early hour? Uh, is this an hour early or something? With a question mark, brother, it is... Uh, 10.15 here in the non-sunny state of Victoria, my friend. So uh, Daylight Savings has just started. And I was almost going to text you this morning, but uh, I wasn't too sure what time uh, you were going to sleep into or anything like that. So I didn't want to wake you up in case you were snoozing. But there you go. Great to have you in the house. Kiss Bartlett says your next goal should be uh, pyrotechnics. Really amp up the signal. The segment intro is all right. And uh, Raven's saying, oh, yes, I mean, uh, QLD, no daylight savings. Yeah, that's what uh, we've got to get uh, for my mum as well. So I've got to explain that. Um, that's why it was an hour early. So, but we're going to be calling her in half an hour. Questions for my mum. I want to know. Gee, I don't actually, actually know. Uh, does she think there is life after this one? Or we could ask what happens when we die. And also, what is the best sort of drone? All right, let's ask her that. Matthew Dean's tuning in to say a nice dog. Well, welcome to the uh, to the channel there, Matthew Dean. That pooch behind me, just here. Ooh, there you go, Charles. That is uh, Charlie. He's been with me from the start. And if you uh, have, I don't know if anybody has been here from then, but around 2016, uh, yeah, Charlie's been with me from the start of these videos. He used to chase the, uh, 
chase the drones around. And I used to think it was cool at the start, but to be honest, it's kind of a pain in the butt because, well, uh, I can't take him out flying all the time because he's just always barking at the drones and wants to chase them and bite them. And yeah, it's just not, it'd be so much better if you could just chill there, Charlie. I wish I didn't train him to chase it. I thought before I was doing New World Futures, it was the best exercise the dog had ever seen. He would just run around this park, absolutely frothing at the mouth, just pretty much giving himself a heart attack, chasing <laughs> Chasing that. All right, Toxic FPV says, my hands are shaking. Uh, is that because you've just had, you've just ripped some packs? So what's going? He's saying, Toxic is the quad alive. Double A says, Stu, I have a new question for you, buddy. Do you have a personal pilot handle besides UAV Futures? No, that's it. Uh, if I called myself anything else, it would just be Stu, uh, probably. But why? What's your what's your handle? Double A. Do you use what you use when on your OSD? Um, Toxic says, "Hey, I forgot to mount my XM Plus. I ended up crashing and chopping one of the antennas off. I've got more ordered, but it has enough range for this air I'm flying in with just one antenna. I'm going to say you can kind of fix that, Toxic, if you do a bit of googling, and it's definitely going to help. Uh, have a look at the length of the good um, antenna that is left, and you can strip off some of that shielding." So then it's going to expose some of that receptive part of the internal coax on your other on your broken XM Plus antenna. Um, and if you plug that in, it is going to help massively. So it's going to do a, even if it's not perfect, it is still going to help massively. Yes, it, uh, I think it's exponential. The closer, the more you get away from that wavelength length, it becomes uh, less and less receptive, um, except for the, you know, the, quarters and halves and holes to ignore that part but yeah if you can just try and even match it up by looking at it it's going to be a lot better reception than just having nothing on there at all especially if you're flying around close range anyway jpv says smash the like it like button everyone go 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 we've got 56 people watching streaming for 12 minutes feels like i'm getting a little bit warm here uh but it is fairly cold outside it's been raining an awful lot um Let's see, and Luca N is talking about a website. It says that to fly FAV, you need to apply. How do you fly FAV? I'm not too, I'm not too sure. Take a flight, FPV saying, hey, Stu, and JFPV. It looks like he's watching Toxic as well. So, yeah, if you can take some photos of those boys uh, ripping around. If, are you actually together in person? And double A says, yep, my name is Aaron. Uh, so that's where the double A comes from. It is 6 p.m. in the States, I believe, right now. And Gus Ruff says, hey, Stu, uh, you feeling better? I hope all is well. Well, I, I feel like, you know, I, well, I did have a couple of really good days. Um, they're a little bit, been a little bit stressful, I guess, the last, you know, 24 hours or 48 hours. I don't know. It hasn't been super chill, but it's been, uh, it's been good. I, a, I went to bed early last night. And I feel like a huge part of my mood is definitely trying to get the most hours sleep. When you've got a young family as well uh, that wakes up, you know, quite a lot through the night, it can be very, very tricky. Uh, and we just had our super chat, first super chat of the day. And I don't know, he's sent through um, NOK50, uh, which I think is like $5 worth of something, but I don't even know where that's from or how to pronounce your name. Me. me Mechanican. I'm, I'm truly trying. I am going to say thank you, my friend. Uh, we've got Russ Wolf saying, Hi, all the oldest man in... That's his age, actually. Russ Wolf 911. He is 911 years old. But, uh, yeah, let me know, um, men... Mechan, Mechanican, let me know where you're from, brother. What country is that? Does anybody actually know? Lucas N says, what goggles do you recommend for around the 200 to $250? The answer is plain and simple. Let him know, guys, if you know what I'm going to be saying in the comments. It is these bad boys right here. If you head over to this website, this is the greatest drone website you will ever see. Scrolling down, and we'll do a bit of a screen share. These bad boys... The SkyZone O2Cs, O2Xs, look at this, this is the price point. If you can get them for about the $250 to $300 price point, I've heard a lot of people, as soon as every, look, you can see in the chat as well, if you are flying SkyZones, you're going to be a happy lad or lass. I said they were almost perfect, and I'm when I come to think of it, I don't know what I mustn't have liked in here. Maybe, well, they're not OLEDs, uh, and they're not, I guess they're not fat sharp, they're not uh, DJI digital as well, but they are pretty freaking amazing. Plus, I think they look really cool as well. I really like the red ones. Um, all right. 
Coming back in here to Space Camp. Thank you very much, uh, Grumpy F Grumpy FPV, who is different to Grumpy Trev FPV. Says questions for Stu's mum. Has she ever been to the UK? And if if so, what did she think of it? I'll have to copy this in here as well with your name. Thank you very much, Grumpy FPV. That's posted in there. Uh, Bramler Family Man says, I will be the Eshin box. It will be the Eshin box goggle. That's totally a, a troll answer because I know Bramler Family Man has a pair of goggles. Uh, all right. The Toxic saying he was, um, that, that was the Krona. Okay. That he sent through. Thank you very much. Um, and Vi is saying, super nice bloke. Uh, a super nice bloke on the server is gifting me a pair of Omway Commanders, but with no antennas. What do you recommend as far as antennas? I would say, if you go again to uavfutures.com, let's have a scroll here. And a big shout out to Raven for coming up with these articles as well, who's in the chat. This one right here, which antennas for FPV? Check it out. We actually go through breaking it down. Antennas are one of the best ways uh, to improve your reception on the cheap. So if you are a new pilot and you've only got an extra $20 to spend or budget, you're, you're trying to get the most bang for buck. Once you've got uh, Antennas make a huge difference on your quad and on your goggles and on your receiver. They're toxic, so on your XM Plus when it comes to range. Uh, and there's this little article here. This one is great, the triple feed patch. I think it's like... $14 or something. I'll link this as well. It's about 14 bucks um, to be able to get a patch and a an Omni. So yeah, just go go get some of these bad boys. You've got a couple of other ones. We test out the triple feed patch here as well. Uh, yeah, just you're going to be having a good time. I'm going to move this mic. It's really in my face. Uh, right there. All right, uh, all right. Grumpy FPV says Grumpy Trev is a lot grumpier than me. Yeah, the grumpy bug. I haven't seen him for a while. I actually, sent him a message the other day. I hope he is doing well. Uh, and JFPV says Stu's mum. Would you like to visit Mars or space? Uh, would you like to go there? Okay. I don't know if I'd like to go there. I used to think I would have as a as a kid, but now with a family, I don't know. Um, we got Barnsey, he's in here from 1980, so there we go, 40, 41 year old right here in the chat, Red Riot, saying, what are some good 5 inch props, I'm looking to buy in bulk, or just some good bang for my buck, now this is where I would recommend, there is a couple of brands, brand named one, and everybody is going to give you their opinion on what they think the best prop is, I'm going to give you some advice, which is probably a little bit different, as a reviewer, as someone who has flown, hunt like, at least hundreds. I don't think I've flown a thousand drones, but I've at least flown hundreds. They always come with different props, different sizes, different pitches, all that sort of stuff. What do I like for a five inch? I would. I like just a normal, maybe fifty. It do, it doesn't even matter between forty six to to fifty. Just and the pitch actually doesn't concern me too much. More aggressive the pitch, the better the punch out. Less aggressive the pitch, the uh, the smoother experience you're going to have, but the lower lower speeds. Uh, but it is going to be a little bit more efficient as well. But the other part, it doesn't. This is the part that people won't like. It doesn't matter too much whether you get. You could be getting some Dow props. You could be getting some. Um, what are some other some gem fans or some old gem fans, as some people call them. You could be getting some HQ props. Uh, as long as you get a brand, you could be even getting some Emacs, like, I don't know, Scimitar props or something like that. It doesn't actually matter uh, what props you get. As long as you get brand name props, you are probably going to be having a good time. The only time when I feel like props can really let you down is when you try to get some really cheap ones from a, known, a non uh, reputable brand that can be a bit dodgy because they're going to be out of balance. They're probably not going to be using the right plastic. But if you just stick to some brand name ones, uh, you're going to be having... Uh, you're going to be having a good time. So that's, that's my advice. So when you want to get some in bulk, just have a shop around and think, oh, look, I can get a whole bunch of HQ props on special from this store for only this much. That's a much better deal. That's how I would go about um, going through that. All right. Random Family Man saying, just don't get Raven's uh, fans page. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, JFEV and Toxic... A toxic ascent. I might be getting some DJI gig goggles if this bill passes in the Senate. They'll be sending me the big bucks. Uh, so we'll have some HDOs and DJI. I might sell the HDOs and keep the rapid fire uh, for DJI goggles. Uh, once you go, once you go DJI, you're not going to be going back to analog. Uh, that's a, that's a big danger warning that people might have as well. Um, JFPV says. 
FPV Vi. I have some Onway V1s and I'm using and using the antennas Stu told me to and they are great. So that is fantastic. I'm glad you're enjoying that and that advice can help you. We've got 61 people watching. Let's see if we can get more thumbs up than that. So we've currently got 36 thumbs up thumbs up zero thumbs down uh, let me know if you appreciate these stra these streams uh give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down there's no right or wrong answer the important part is that you're enjoying yourself you deserve to have a good day let me know what you're up to are you going to be going flying did you go flying this weekend what was it like do you have any videos to share we should make these streams like the monday sunday share session where i can check out some of your videos because the weekend has passed but yeah show me what flying you've been up to and look at that we've got 44 thumbs up it's getting bigger ladies and gentlemen and one thumbs down travis croker says the nazgul five props are really good random family man says we nearly got him and toxic damn it felt good to throw down some split S's over the trees outside. The ethics watermelons are pretty good, but that is the only ones I've flown so far. But props are so cheap. Now, ethics stuff, look, you're going to be paying for it. I'm sure Mr. Steel won't mind me saying this because I'm sure he stands behind this as well. His name is on there. It is his business. You are paying more for that. However, you do have the, I guess, uh, it, you know, a lot of stuff has done a lot of work with TBS. He does know what he's doing, and you are paying that premium for that knowledge, experience, and quality. So if you don't mind dropping a few extra dollars, uh, you are going to have a good time flying around with ethics. As long as you're not JB and you fly one of his, um, the ethics drones. I don't know what... Uh what I don't know what happened. What happened with that one? Anyway, all right. Barnsey says I always uh, forget uh, to like until Stu reminds me to. All done now. That's right. I'll just reach through and punch you in the neck there, Barnsey. Grumpy FBV says it's been raining for like three days in the UK. So tiny whoop indoors. If you are, uh, if you remember on the last uh, channel, the last stream, we were meant to be doing what's in Stu studio, and uh, there we go. Some amazing vocal work right there. I was not allowed to show you because I think I'm under an NDA there, but uh, you know, for though I wasn't allowed to show it on social media or any of any of that sort of stuff. But if you do know what I was talking about, if you are one of those people who might have seen it out the corner of somewhere, anyway, if you've been on Discord and you might have seen it a little bit, um, it flew around. It was okay. I was kind of like a seven out of ten, and then I had a bit of a crash indoors, and well, it wasn't wasn't as good as I was hoping, unfortunately. Uh, five PV saying be prepared to buy many and many more. Aren't you meant to be at school via FPV? What are you doing here, mate? You should be focusing on your learning. And Talos Croker says, I thought you were going to say a oh, what's in what is in in your your stew. I'm confused there, uh, Talos. And um, let's see, Mad Max FPV says Red Riot. What motors and how heavy is your quad? Plus, what kind of flying? Okay, must be talking to someone else. We've got Nee and A saying, hey, Stu. And Kiz is letting me know that he got rained out today, so he couldn't go flying outside. But my Ultra Power 1S charger, um, he got his Ultra 1S Power charger, though, so I'm super excited about that. Yeah, this charger here, I wonder if I actually have an article on it. This is my favorite Whoop charger. I'll see if I can... Oh, this is the best charger for Whoops. Hopefully, you found this on the... Um, on the UAV Futures website. This is why I keep talking about it all the time. It is made to help you guys. Check this out. This one. You make, go and bookmark this right now. Go and bookmark UAVfutures.com, especially if you are a, a new pilot. Everything in here, this is kind of like the bare bones articles of things that are gonna help you. This charger right here, believe it or not, I actually have about 10 of these. Um, because they're so good. We've done like some parties and stuff before. I've got a whole bunch of people flying around together. I know when a bunch of people I met up with Discord, we had all these plugged in and just charging like 60 batteries at once. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. But these, they just, they work so well. You simply plug in either your LiPo or you plug it into the wall on the other end. You plug your batteries in. They take a whole range of different, you know, depending on what type of connector that they've got. And then that's it. You can either set it to go to... Um, lipo high voltage or your standard i always say oh look at this you know so you can either go uh 2.4 volts or 3.4 uh but this uh this is one part thank you very much for raven for adding this there are some new types of battery connections like a beta fpv that they uh they actually send through these ones and it doesn't do that but here it is you can see me plugging this in showing you how it works it's just a just a great little charger this was probably a really old video actually based with that mat under there i probably filled that at like the first uh first first place we were in but yeah all right 
No worries. Jumping back in here, main face cam. What I need you guys to do, let's uh, put some questions down for my mother. We're about to call her in about 10 minutes' time. Barnes is saying it's public holiday here in Australia. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, not down here in Vic, though, my friend. I don't think it's a public holiday here. Plus, when you work for yourself, well, public holidays and weekends are kind of kind of meaningless. Also, when you're unemployed. Um, uh, public holidays are only great when you've got to go working uh, for somebody else. And, and apple pie... Apple Papple says at your futures are the sky two zo are the sky zones SMA. Uh, yes, they are. Now, when you say SMA male, this is what uh, this confuses me because I just refer to it as SMA. Here we go. The part that is on the end of the sky zones uh, is well, it's not. It's yeah, it's this bit. This is the bit that's on the Sky Zone goggles. So that, yeah, that's SMA female, and this is SMA male. So that, that's the outside part like that. That's the, you're not gonna have that part on the, uh, this is the bit that's on the Sky Zones. It's SMA, you can't even see what I'm talking about. It's SMA, uh, but it's gonna be SMA female. That's the part that's on the, uh, on the goggles right there. All right. Um, Barnes is saying, oh, no holidays for the Victorians, mate. We don't get anything down here. We don't even get any sunshine. I don't even know why I live down in this state. Um, and here we go. This one's from Swiss Bandito is saying, can I charge my HV batteries down to the same level, uh, discharge my HV batteries down to the same level as normal LiPos? Yes, you can, my friend. And thank you very much. Uh, man, we've just got an, the second super chat. Thanks very much to Gunner and, uh, Mc, McKinnon. McKinnon Kern for our for our donations today. You guys are the sponsors of today's episode. Let me know whatever you want to talk about. He sent through another some other um, stuff right there. I don't even know you know what 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 that is. So thank you very much. Is it the Krona? I'm not I'm not too sure uh, what what there. Oh, and he's also put a question below. He says I'm a bit sad you wouldn't answer my question. Uh, okay, I can see it. I can see your question now. You can you can also attach them to the super chats. I'm trying, my friend. It wasn't like I ignored you. I've just seen it right now. Um, answer my paid question with at least I don't know. When I asked you about it, you thought, okay, I, I didn't even see it, my friend. It's not like I'm ignoring you. You've got to. You can type it in there at the same time as well. All right. So uh, here, here, this is what his question was. I can see it. It's written below here in another part as well. He's saying, uh, when I asked you about what you thought about the Hero 6 with Real Steady versus Neuro Heroes with Hyper Smooth. So, uh, I have limited experience with Real Steady, and I am sorry that I missed you type that in, my friend. It wasn't like I was ignoring you uh, or anything like that. I didn't even see it coming through in the chat. I would say Hyper Smooth is just so much better and easier to do. You don't need to do any work and post or anything like that when you put it into your computer. It just works. Now, some people might say they get better results when they're using Real Steady, all that sort of stuff, but I would say, for me, it, there's just the convenience factor. You turn your drone on, you turn your GoPro on, you go and rip a pack, and then it looks beautiful, it's silky smooth, all that sort of stuff. You don't need to worry about it. Hyper Smooth as well, depending on what GoPro you're gonna be using, some of them, especially with the old school GoPros, you need to make like these special mounts. It has trouble sometimes reading the gyro data. They, they recommend like a zip tie mount so it doesn't get jello. All this sort of stuff that's just, the inconvenience far outweighs if there is any actual advantage uh, between the two. So maybe someone else has some more experience with using both. I know Donnie, when I've spoken to Donnie, he said he's not convinced on hyper, uh, he's not convinced on real steady and he prefers hyper smooth and I believe he's used both of them. So yeah, I would just say hope hyper smooth is, um, is, is where it's at. It's just, it's just so easy. And you don't even have to do anything on your computer as well. All right, Red Riot says, uh, at your futures, keep on forgetting, but what is that, uh, board in the background? I feel for stupid for asking though, as I really should as if I really should know. These gentlemen are the FPV legends. Every single one of these individuals and all, including Trollalalalalala, who are, is, I, I you know, we've got to figure out who that is. But uh, every single one of these in, these people has made some huge contributions to this channel. And I want to say thank you so much for your support. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do this without, without people like yourself sharing this message of FPV. You guys know I am truly passionate about FPV. Why? Because it changes people's lives in such a positive way. And that's what I want. I want people's lives to be better. I want them to enjoy what they're doing, to have something that they just want to get out there and fly all the time and look 
look forward to doing and it is just something so special and thank you uh to fbv and thank you for these people who uh, have really helped me be able to do that recently especially when things have been tough um and we've been in a bit of a crazy lockdown as well so we had a six month lockdown uh here all right uh, but that's what that's what those names are there. Just a uh, just a little bit of a shout out, um, just just to say thank you to them. All right. Uh, and FireBV saying, I'm assuming your website also has the best cheap battery charger. Well, because I really uh, need to know what you recommend. Um, chargers are a place where you probably don't want to go too cheap. Like there is cheap options out there, but it's always better probably getting a brand name charger or it's just also safer. So you want to think in terms of safety, some of those really, really cheap knockoff chargers, I have never personally had any issues with. So I've never had any catch on fire, but I don't, I've only used them a handful of times to be like, yeah, that's what it does. That's what it's like. That's how it works and gone through them. But I know that I have used my Sky RC chargers that sound like a bomb. Uh, let's be honest right now, they are so full of dust and the fans go when they, uh, kiss is going to clip that, but when they, when you turn them on, all that sort of stuff, it's just, uh, I know for four years, they've just been absolutely smashing it out. So, you know, they're, they seem rock solid and I don't think they ever, if, we, if they broke, I would go out and get the exact same one. Uh, Florida Wildlife says, I don't like Hypersmooth as it takes away uh, from the real FPV feel. Yep, I think what we were talking about, though, uh, from Mc McKinnon um, was which one would he prefer, real steady or Hypersmooth. I'm not saying that you should use that, that Hypersmooth. Definitely doesn't make your quad look different when you're watching back the footage. But which one out of those two, if you were going for that sort of look, uh, would you use? And it would be would be Hypersmooth. That would be my choice. Um Let's see, and uh, Talus is wanting to do some sim racing at the end, and uh, Barnsey1980 says, isn't that stuff basically cheating to make your flights look better? I don't get it. You know what? I used to be a little bit like this, but it doesn't really matter unless somebody says, hey, I'm flying around. It's like a photographer who takes a photo, and then they, they or every single picture you see uh, always now has some post-production work. The same thing with FPV footage. If you're making some footage to share, unless you're saying, hey, look how fast or look how smooth my actual flying skills are and you're trying to fake it and you're speeding it up and slowing it down and you're trying to mislead the public in some way through your, uh, through your footage, then okay, I can understand that. But if you're just trying to make a beautiful flight video and you use some help of, um, of pros, of, you know, editing work or that sort of stuff, then man, I'd go for it. Who, who really cares? It doesn't, doesn't make me too upset one way or the other what someone else wants to do with their footage. At the start, it used to bug me because uh, some people didn't know about it and people were trying to, I guess, use it to their advantage to say how much of a better pilot they were than other people. Man, who can be bothered also with that stuff? I mean, even for me, when I do my flights, it's just like, hey, here's, uh, I, I very rarely touch anything when it comes to the flight footage. I don't do any of the colors, none of that garbage. I don't even know if my GoPro has Hypersmooth turned on or off at the moment. But yeah, you can just see what it's like. That'd probably be good actually to turn it off and say, all right, this is, um, this is what it looks like. That'd be better for you guys as a as some information uh, coming through on the sticks. And if I was going to do a maybe a happy flying edit, I was going to just do a just a flying edit. I would probably leave it on. But anyway, that's uh, eat each to their own. Um, Man, Marcus FPV says he was so miffed when I used stabilization mode in in Adobe, which made smooth stuff actually look worse. And Gus is said, damn nice. Uh, let me know if you want me to add you to this WhatsApp group. It's still small. A lot of us are learning and starting. It would be great to have you on board. I'm not too sure what uh, what what um what, what am I buying into uh, just here. JPV is saying, smash the like button. We've got 73 people watching. 52 thumbs up, one thumbs down. Let me know what you're thinking about this. Uh, and do myself, do me a favor. Do my mother a favor as well. We've got a couple of questions. If you've got a question for my mum, something you would like to know, we're about to call her on the phone. It really might be one of the highlights of her week. These streams are the highlight of my working week. We're about to ring this 60, 70 year old lady. I don't know how old my mum is. It's probably bad. Mum, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Uh, I know your exact birthday. It's not like I ever forget it or anything like that. <laughs> oh, gosh, gosh. Uh, let's see. I want to know why didn't... Uh, why only two kids? 
Imagine if she said, oh, there's actually some other kids out there as well. JFEV said, I'll become a legend or one day. Thank you very much, Jay, uh, for the fourth super chat of the day. Uh, very much appreciated. And scrolling down, Neff and A says, I need an opinion. I need uh, super strict up to $10,000 fine. What are, you, what are we talking about? Um, Remember, try to put as much information as you can in one sentence, otherwise it all gets lost in amongst the chit-chat. Of oh, here, we've got a drone's life. Hey, you, Incent, in your opinion, what's the best low-latency FPV camera? <sighs> well, uh, I'm, to be honest, I, I, this is where I wish I could say this for this, you know, I guess you're asking me my opinion. When it comes to low-latency, I don't, I don't know the difference anymore between low latency and just sort of standard stuff. I fly DJI most of the time if it's just me flying around for fun. And that is renowned for having slightly higher latency than some of the others. And it doesn't really bug me flying around. It's not like I can really notice it. And if you go to analog, look, I would just say I really like the Rattel or the Starlight. Uh, they seem to be good good ones from Cadex and... I'm I'm not too sure if you're if you're a, this is where I need a hardcore racer's opinion. Some amazing people like BMS Thomas, um, you know, or BMS Web in the chat. If they could say, hey, I really like their camera, that's where they would be better suited. So I'm sorry I can't answer um, that too much. A drone slide. I'm just giving you my honest answer. Um, but scrolling down, uh, Kiz Bartlett says, oh, Stu's mum reads the chat. Hi, Stu's mum. Um, oh look, Monkey's saying, but I prefer the Rattel. He doesn't. He doesn't care about latency, so maybe the Rattel has slightly higher uh, latency. Lucas N says, I'm kind of on a budget, and I live in Australia, so the Skies on O2Cs, O2Xs are a bit expensive. Should I get a second pair of pair of Fat Sharks or other Sky Zones? Totally worth it. If you can get a second hand pair of uh, goggles, definitely. What second hand style are you looking at, though? That's what we need to. That's what we need to find out. Um. Like which one? So don't like it, it, they're gonna drop in value. If you're looking at some Attitude V2s per se, they've been new for fifty bucks. I know some people who have them for fifty dollars, which is an absolute steal. Attitude V3s, you probably want to want to be paying more than a hundred bucks now. Um, Attitude V5s, you're probably looking at around two hundred dollars. Uh, this is second hand. I'm talking second hand, second hand prices. Um, all right. Let's have a look. Uh, Chaos FBV, our newest legend, is in the house as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. What's going on, Chaos? Uh, Fitz Flight says, Stu's mum, the best filling uh, for a taco. That sounds almost borderline inappropriate. I won't be asking my mother that one. And uh, DJ Official says, Stu's mum likes my camera best. All right. Uh, let's see. Come on, I need some actual questions here, here people. And... M is asking, Stu, do you still watch newbie vids or steal or only steal like, and then he's put a little swear word stuff. Do I still watch newbie vids or only steal like stuff? To be honest, most of the videos that I watch when it comes through to FPV are your videos. So people who post and share your vids here. So if I get this right here, let me have a look. Scrolling down, share your vids. Honestly, this is where most of my FPV videos come from that I enjoy watching. Do and look, I'm sure, I'm sure, no, no one, none of the big names are going to really care. Steel's not going to care if I watch his videos. Tommy's not going to care if I watch his videos. What I do watch, I watch a couple of X Jets videos, some of his rant videos. But when it comes to just flying, I really just like to find those uh, obscure pilots who. You know, they might have 10 views, they might have 20 views. They're my favorite type of videos to stumble across some little hidden gems. Everybody see, I've seen all those amazing flight videos before and it's not something that I uh, scour through the internet looking for the best flights. I've been flying for six years. I've seen amazing flights. What I like to see is newbie unknown people just having a having a bit of a rip around. So, I don't know, That's uh, that would be, if you, if you really want to know what flight videos, most of them are the ones that people post in, if I go to here, in the screen share. So these ones, you know, so these are the sorts of things. We've got Random Family Man. Look at this. He's got his little kid, uh, future world champions made in a five inch flight. I hope there's no music here because I want to want to check this out. Let's see. Is he doing a bit of line of sight flying? Here he goes. Look at this. Look at this little legend. Random, is that actually your son's hair color or have you dyed that? Land it down. Perfect. That's some good, good throttle control. Because if not, that is like some hyper color hair there, brother. That's pretty cool. All right. So here we go. Uh, that 
the, him flying around. But yeah, this is where I watch most of you, uh, most of your videos. We'll watch some of these later on as well. I can't wait. If I would love to see your flights from this weekend. A random family man's posted it twice. Look at that. But if you've got some stuff, uh, this one was posted just a couple of minutes ago. We'll be checking out big oily guys. Uh, my four, four, my four, my real rippers. <laughs> Okay, we're going to be checking that out in just a little bit, but after we call my mum, we'll check that out. We'll check out some of your videos as well, but yeah, that's most of the videos that I watch. Uh, they're just in there. All right, Toxic is talking to some people as well. I'll let him see that. Uh, that's a chameleon. Um, let's let's have a look. Scrolling down. Uh, DJ Official is asking, that's Stu's mum, why is DJI the best? All right, we can ask her that. We're going to be calling her. Let's see what she said. Um... I probably need to call her right now. All right, so if you have some questions for my mother dearest, please do me a favor. We've got about five questions right now. I need about four more. Do me a favor, throw them down in the comments and then I can call her. Um, let's have a look. M Monkey's saying he sold his Omwake V1 Commanders for $100. Great starting goggles. Good on you, Monkey. You absolute legend. Uh, our man Stu's mind is always in inappropriate places. Fitz, you know what you're doing there, mate, with that one. Oh, Fly is meant to be focused in class. Yes, Fly, I'm going to say you're going to be banned from my streams. If you are watching this while you were at school, that's not on, man. Come on, as a as somebody, if maybe, if you think, gee, Stu's offering some advice here. Here, so here is some advice. Stay focused in school. I truly believe in education. I was a teacher for 10 years, so, you know, it's not, um, it's not cool to be a fool at school. There we go. Not that I would ever... That, that, that's my next rap career. It's, you can tell it's absolutely going to take off. Um... Has Stu, I really like this one from Gus. Has Stu always been into nerdy stuff like drones? Um, and Kiz is asking, what's for dinner? All right, and then we're going to give her a give her a buzz. Mother, if you're watching this, just let me get a couple more questions from these people here. Some of these legends as well helping me out. And was your mum happy uh, when you got married and left home? Uh, <laughs> what did she miss? You dumping the garbage, uh, well, pretty much, uh, I didn't get married till about a decade after I left home, actually. As soon as I was 18, I was, uh, I'd moved out. It was probably a bit too strict for me at home, and, uh, you know, I was in just hanging out with my friends, and yeah, it was, it was a great time. Being a, being a, a young adult, moving out into your own house, and just, I don't know, it, it was fun times at uni, anyway. Um... Let's see. You want to learn if you don't want to stew. Not too sure. All right. Let's call my mum. I need two more questions. Do me, do myself a favor. Then I'm going to be ringing her. I'm going to be getting Facebook here so I can ring her through Messenger. We'll ask her, find out how she's been. It's going to be time for Oh, Stu's mum. I'm singing for Russell Wolf because he loves my singing. Russell Wolf, the oldest man in FPV. Oh, beautiful singing there. Uh, if any any record labels out there are listening, please uh, hit me up. You might have to step, get in line though. And Toxic saying, does she have a favourite sports team? Great, fantastic. Uh, there we go. Thank you very much, Toxic. You absolute. You literally are a legend. I want to say thank you very much there. All right, let's ring my mother dearest, and we'll find out what we've got. It's got some messages from Bot Grinder. You want to play Among Us? No, not right now, Bot Grinder. Um, let's have a look. Here she is. Here's the old lady. Let's call her again on the telephone. And I wonder what mic it's gonna gonna choose. I'm not too sure here. Let's call. It says calling, but I'm not getting anything. Uh, what was my most annoying habit when you lived at home? That's that's from uh, Greased Brick. Can you guys hear anything, or is that just uh, quiet for me as well on on my half? Whew. Mum, if you are watching this, you need to probably go have a look at your phone and have a look at Messenger. Let's see what she's what she said. Uh, check. Hear nothing. Yeah, I can't hear anything either. Messenger call. Unreachable. Let's try redial. Yep, hearing nothing over there. Yeah, it doesn't I'm gonna I'll call her on uh on the actual phone and then we'll we'll go from there. We'll we'll get her on the phone. Do 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 JPV sends you 
Mother dearest, are you near your phone? Do you have your messenger app opened? Oh, I thought I answered this really well. No, this is me. On, I'm ringing you on the normal phone, Mum. This is like a normal mobile mobile call. No, I just, just answered you through the mobile. Okay, what have I got to do? Okay, so you'll need to hang up and go to the messenger app. Do you have a messenger app on your phone? No, remember I need to put my phone back on the camera. Oh, hang on. Hang on. You, are you, I'm putting you on speakerphone. You only just got your phone back. Does it have any of the apps or anything like that on there that you'd previously installed, or do you have to get them all again? Let me have a look. What am I looking for? Messenger. Yeah, it's like a little lightning bolt kind of thing. Welcome to the FPV Mix, where we're uh, teaching my mum how to use a phone. No, no, there's no lightning bolt. Uh, okay, okay. Remember where we spoke last time on the computer? Do you want to go open that up? Yes, yes. If you can open up Facebook on the computer. JPV is saying, Stu, you want to adopt me so I can play with your drones? Mate, I don't, you don't need to adopt you. You can just come over and, and rip as many as you like. I took someone for a flight the other day while I wait for my mum to do this. And I said, hey, you want to fly this? And they're like, that's like a brand new DJI setup. And I was like, yeah, just go for it. And if it flew into the river or whatever, they're like, what happens if I... All right, are you? Is it uh, your account or Stephen's account? Mine. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna redial here. Let's see what happens. No. Nah. Oh, and you're gonna have to stop watching the stream. Stop watching the stream in the background. I put the stream on mute. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works. I'm gonna Let hang, me up. hang this up. I'll hang up the phone now. Okay. Okay. Hang on. G'day, mother dearest. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Welcome. You are live on the internet. You are live yeah. before as well. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? She can't hear me. I've got to get this little thing. Hang on. Can you hear me? Hey, Stu. Stu. Like, I took someone for a flight the other Stop day. Stop watching my video. Watching and wow. I said, hey, okay. you want to fly this? And they're like, it's like a brand new DJI setup. And I was like, yeah, just go for it. And if it flew into the river or whatever, they're like, what happens if... There we go. We did it. We did it. <laughs> so much. Okay. All right. Here we are, Mother Dearest. We'll get there. Well done. It's like technology. It's like, remember when Grandma rang you up one time and she said, hey, did you watch Ben-Hur on TV last night? And you said, no, where did you watch it? And then Grandma said, we got it from the video store. And she, for some reason, thought that because she watched it, I don't know, she, you must have watched it as well on the TV. But uh, that's what it's like talking to. That's uh, old age, I guess, Mother. No, it's because, yeah, it's because you're an hour early. <laughs> That's that, my quiz today. Uh, all right, all right. We got some questions here. How have you been, anyway? I'm good, thank you. And hello to fellow Queenslanders who have all, never had daylight saving up here. I noticed that Raven is in Queensland, so he's like me. Yep, yep. So uh, definitely one of my good mates up there. I hope it's not too rainy up there, and you go out and rip some yeah. packs. Or is it? Is, what's, what's the weather like? It's beautiful here. Unlike <laughs> poor, those two poor people in London, is it grumpy and? Gus Ralph, it's raining. Yeah, it's pouring down here as well. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it's, okay. the weather is disgusting right now. I think we had a, like heaps and heaps of rain. It was torrential. Anyway, oh. we've got some questions here if you uh, don't mind answering yep. some of them. Yep. All right. The first one, uh, this one's from me. Um, what happens when we die? Not much, love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you think that there's life after this one? No. That's it. Yep. So you're telling me our time together is, you know, like how how many hours do we spend together per year? Let's say, poor, on average, 48 hours a year? Two days. Oh, no, I'd see you more than two days. Do you, though? In the, per in the flesh, yes. We'd come down. I'd probably okay. see you a week a year. A week a year. How many more weeks you got left to live? Oh, if I'm lucky, 20. So you've got 20 weeks with your son and then that's it. Yeah. And then yeah. never again. Yeah, nearly, it's just not quite a year, darling. How does that make you feel? That's not even a year, that's half a year. Well, it won't, it's going to bother you more than me. <laughs> because you'll be dead. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, too easy, no worries. Uh, what is the best sort of drone? The best sort of drone? Yeah. Oh, 
I don't know. I don't know much about drones. Um, a fast one? There we go. What an answer. All right, this one's from Grumpy FPV. Different to Grumpy Trev, but Grumpy FPV says, Question for Stu's mum. Has she ever been to the UK? And if so, what did she think of it? Oh, I have been to the UK many, many times. I love it. I absolutely love it. We have driven all around the UK and plus up to the Orkneys. I love it. We were very tempted to live in the UK, Stephen and I, because we can both get... Um, right of the boats. Yeah, yeah, right of the boats. Yeah. Stephen has got an English passport because of our parents. We like it very, very much, except it's too expensive for us. And it's awfully rainy. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel about New Zealand. I would love to go live in New Zealand, but the rain is... Uh... Yeah. Not, it could be a bit of a pro problem. All right, JFPV says, Stu's mum, uh, would you ever like to do one of those Mars trips to visit Mars or do you like space or anything like that? Would you ever like to go to outer space? No, thanks. I've listened to Major Tom. You don't come back. Okay, you might be right there. I think so. Uh, why only two kids? That's from me. Why have I only got one sister? Why do you only have, you know, why, why only two kids? Because... When Susan was diagnosed with diabetes at three, I wasn't going to put anybody else through that again. All right, good one. So I, if my sister's watching, good one, sister, you totally ruined it for me. So what are you, what are you doing? Is that what you're saying, Mum? You ruined it uh, there? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm obviously just staring, just staring. Uh, DJI official says, why is DJI, why are DJI drones the best? I don't even know what, D I'm sorry, I don't know what DG. DJ, DJI, DJI. They are, they, 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 they do just make good stuff. You can say because they're the only decent digital option that they can. Ah, yeah. Which reminds me, what does FPV stand for? Is it something like personal flying personal vehicles? Flying personal vehicle. Welcome to uh, the greatest flying personal vehicle show on the internet. FPV. That's great. Uh, that's a good analogy. Flying pers person vehicle. We could almost do some trivia with Astu's mum where I've got some trivia questions about drones. Uh, but it actually stands for first person view. So oh, so you're so in the drone. You and when, when you're you looking through the goggles. Yeah, so it's like you're sitting there in first person. It's like you are experiencing what you'd be experiencing oh, there. Okay. What about if you don't have goggles? Well, then, it, then you, it's uh, LOS flying. Lots of what? Line of sight. So you oh. are looking at the goggle with a direct line of sight, looking at the drone with a direct line of sight. Oh, yeah. I once did an April April Fool's video where uh, I had some line of shite goggles, which were just <laughs> these goggles coloured in orange that you could use. You could put them on and they were special flying goggles for when you were flying, just looking at the drone. So you didn't, you know, I'm sure you, you can understand. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, this one's from Gus, and he says, Hey, Stu's mum, uh, has Stu always been into nerdy stuff like drones? Yes. Do you think Not... I was a nerdy teenager? No, no, because I don't think it's nerdy. Okay. But we're always interested in, well, um, things that moved, like, I'm not going to say no, I wasn't, but, you know, like remote control cars or... You know, objects that moved around. Why, why do you say no? I, why, why do you think I'm going to say no, I wasn't? Well, I think I've said that before and you said, no, I never played with remotes. Yeah, I don't, I don't, think, I, I don't think I did very much, um, actually. But, you know, nerdy stuff, I would say yes, absolutely. Uh, gadgets and gizmos and, yeah. you know, yeah. BMX bikes and that, that sort of stuff. I always uh, was big into, like, video games and wasting a lot of time in them, as, as you loved uh, yeah. growing up. Uh, and, hello, yeah, and hello to Gus as well, who's in the UK. Yep, yep. All right. Uh, and Kiz Bartlett, uh, have you ever seen some of those clip that videos where people play and they cut me up uh, eating a lot of sausage or whatever? You, you know, some no, of the, those. No, but there's a lot of sausage reference. There certainly is. There certainly is. Uh, but Gus, uh, uh, sorry, this one was from Kiz. He just wants to know what's for dinner tonight? Well, I've just picked our own spinach, and so we're going to have spinach, bacon, and feta pie. All right. Sounds, mm. uh, sounds delicious. I don't know what we're having for tea. Um, this one is from Florida Wildlife. Was your mum happy uh, when you got married and left home, or do you miss, does she miss, do you miss me? Uh, you know, taking out the garbage and doing all that sort of stuff, me living at home. No, uh, we wanted you and your sister both to leave home as soon as you were old. As soon as it was convenient, old enough. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I, 
because you need to get your own independence. Yes. And the longer you stayed at home, you just took things for granted. You in particular. What do you mean took things for granted? I think it was completely the opposite where you said you were way too strict at home and you probably needed to ch chill out just a little bit. I was. I was. But, you know, when you, when you, you didn't seem thankful for all the dinners that we cooked and all the washing that was done. When I, That's your job. I, That's your job, Mum. Um, anyway... <laughs> Well, pardon my show mouth out. But no, I was very happy. Okay. Very, very happy when you left home. And your sister. Yep. Very happy when you got married. Who was so, the who was more difficult to live with as a young adult just before they left home? Well, you stayed at home a bit longer, I think. Yeah, I was sister. out at eighteen. When did when did Susan get out? Uh, the day after she left school. Huh. Day after she finished school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it was too strict there. I'll let you read between those lines. This one is from Grease Brick. He says, what was uh, what was my... Okay, this is talking about me. What was my most annoying habit when I lived at home? Not, not tidying up. Not tidying up your room. All right. All right. There we go. So not, not doing any cleaning. If you're ever going to be staying at my mum's house, make sure you clean the stuff up. Make sure you do the dishes because apparently it really does bug her. Um... But there we go. What else have you got on for the rest of the day, Mum? Well, I was reading your this um, droning channel live stream. The chat. You're what? reading the chat. Reading on the chat, and there's some questions that I'm going to answer for people. Okay, sure. Go um, for it. Um, Chuck Toast. Yes. Uh, he wants to know: Did I have a favourite TV show as a child? I'm presuming, or as a young person, and I did. It was Lost in Space. I just loved that show with Will Robinson. Yeah, Danger, Danger. Yeah. You know and they made a remake of that. There's a there's a I remake on Netflix, which actually yeah. didn't get bad reviews. Oh, okay. Sometimes you watch things later on, you know, when they do that, and you're disappointed, and you're better to keep with the original in your mind, aren't you? Well, yeah. I don't know. So the, look, I'm I'm kind of the I'm the opposite. Where let let's say I really like the Aliens franchise. Right, it's one of my all time favorite films. You know, Sigourney Weaver, Aliens. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And even though they make Aliens movies that are pretty dodgy in retrospect now, some of them have been really bad, excluding the recent ones, which I kind of did like. But, you know, there's been some mid-90s, early 2000 ones that were dodgy. I'm still grateful for those extra, you know, films that, yeah, they're not the greatest, but I don't regret watching them. I'd still watch them over not watching them. It's like a little bit of extra bonus content. It's like someone have made you a really nice meal and then... They bought you just an ordinary drink that went with it. It's not like, you know, you the drink unless the drink didn't make you sick, you're just like, Oh, well that wasn't as good as the meal, but I'm still still grateful to have something that, that I can that kinda goes with it. That's how I feel about that stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, anyway, continue. We're getting sidetracked um, here. My other my other T V show was um Romper Room because I was a rom I was on Romper Room. I was on T V when I was four years of age. Okay. Romper Room was in the 1960s, and one's parents would put their name down the day they were born, and four years later, bingo, if you were lucky, your name got pulled out of the hat, and you got to appear on TV for five consecutive days. And you, you got to do that. I wonder if we could ever find that footage. I wonder no, if it's archived somewhere. I've looked. Um, the teacher's name, I think, was Miss Susan. <laughs> Miss Susan, Romper Room. All right. And yeah, uh, I can't find uh, it. Are you closer to 60 or 70? I don't know how old you are. You don't have to answer that. I'll, I'll ask you that off stream. Um, sweetheart. Okay, okay. <laughs> Unless you're closer to 50 than what I realise. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Feel like it sometimes. Um, too easy. All right, was there anything else you'd written down or any yeah, other questions? I have. Oh. I have. Name of Drones wants to know what my favourite job was. And I'll say my favourite job is what I'm doing now, which is retirement. It's the best job you'll ever have. Um, and somebody wanted to know if I play a musical instrument. No, not at all, but I wish I could play the piano, which was a hobby that I wished I would have persevered a bit more. And somebody was talking about hobbies and the other hobby which I had, which I don't think people do today. I did stamp collecting. We used to collect stamps and put them in these little books and you'd even buy the stamps from stamp shops to put in the books or on the back of comics you could write away and get a packet of stamps sent to you for five cents from i don't know around the world and so i can remember very clearly getting some from hungary what a time to be alive hey stamp collecting and then what do you do with them 
<laughs> I gave them to you. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I actually, I do remember some stamp books. I don't know if I don't know if I know if I still have them or whatever. No, I took them to school for the kids cool. to just to have a look at, you know, just yeah. to be like, what is this? And they were kind yeah. of like, what do you do with them? I so, know. <laughs> all right. Russ Wolf says, Mr. Green Jeans. I don't even know what that means. So that might be a show that he used to watch. Do you know what that was? No, I haven't seen that. No, no. worries. All right. Um, and let's let's see. A random family man saying, at Stu's mum, can you please say Stuart, random kids in an angry voice like we're all in trouble. Stuart, like that. <laughs> okay, that'll do. <laughs> all right. No worries. I think you wanted random and kids. That's bringing back oh. a few memories of a grumpy, grumpy mother right there. And we'll let some profanity fly and then from on my behalf. But I think we're going to call it right there, Mum. Thanks so much for Hello. being Hello. on the stream. How are you today? How, how am I feeling? Yeah. Yeah, I feel all right. I went to bed early. I've been trying to get a bit more sleep, actually. I've been trying to focus on that and, you know, giving myself a fairly rigid bedtime because I feel like that really affects my mood. So for anybody else out there, uh, that's what's been, you know, that was one of the things that I think I needed to work on was uh, getting some, some decent sleep, which is hard, though, with a, uh, with a you know, no, couple-of-month-old no. baby. You also shouldn't be watching screen time the hour before you go to bed. I know you're not going to like to hear that. Yeah, but... I don't want to hear that because, uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay. Mm. Too easy. Don't tell that mum. You go, oh, what, what about now? Look, we just lost all these viewers. I'm going to all those UK viewers have just gone. They've just logged off now. All those people watching in the UK. It's about 2 a.m. there. Boys, come on, my mother's saying, get to bed here. <laughs> Sabotaging my stream. Oh, well, is this the time it's going to be now on Mondays? Like, it's yes. going to be... 9.30 Victorian time, basically. Yeah. yeah. Donnie, Donnie just sent through a donation of $4.20 uh, after those 4.20 meat pies, and he says, with Stu, you're fired. Um, and I don't know what he I don't know what he means by that. Perhaps we'll have to get a little bit more. Uh... And also, one of, your, one of your people on here, Nayan, was asking about the difficulty he has as he's not 16 and the difficulty he has flying in Canada because it's illegal. And yep. We don't talk about legal regulations here, Mother, oh. for, for safety reasons for myself and for others. I was just going to say, just can you wait till you're old enough to do it so you don't get in trouble? Wait, wait. So you're someone saying the best way to break the law is to not get caught? Is that what you're saying? No, no don't do it. Wait till you're old enough. Wait till it's legal. We're getting out of this conversation as quick as I can pull that ripcord, pull the parachutes. We are out of here. <laughs> Thanks very much, Mum. Uh, I love yeah. you. I hope you have a fantastic <laughs> day. Uh, we'll Thank have to do a FaceTime. I'll call you with the girls and we'll have a, have a chat. That'd be great. No worries. All right, Mum. Love you. Bye-bye okay. and bye-bye to all your streaming people. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Mum. Bye, darling. Bye. 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 So there we go. Uh, the greatest mother in all of FPV. Share some love for her. If you appreciate her comment, man, I don't know what's happened. We've got uh, so we've gone back to zero thumbs down, and uh, we've got seventy thumbs up. If you appreciate my mum coming on the stream, give her some thumbs up. Or if you think you don't appreciate her answers, give her some thumbs down. Nothing but love from me for my wonderful mother. Wouldn't trade her for the world, but you know maybe uh, if she had some new fancy drones or a new pair of DJI goggles, maybe we would trade her for that. Um, Don E is says saying I missed the whole stream. Stu, you're fired. So uh, sorry about that, Donny. I did tag everybody at Discord, my friend. So you know if you had a had a state up to date there, it's because of daylight savings, my friend. So we've had to change that. Um, and I tagged some people yesterday as well. I put a little reminder notice out. JPV's given me some thumbs up as well. Look at that. We've got 75 people watching. Let's see if we can get over 100 thumbs up. Um, before the end of the stream. We've been streaming for 63 minutes, and don't forget, we've been saving some of the best till last. Uh, we actually have some clip that. It's clip that, yeah, we're kids and random do some clip that. And I wonder if anybody else has actually done some clip that, so we're going to be checking that out in just a little bit as well. JPV saying, bye, Mama Futures. Toxic FPV saying, you got me hooked. Oh, wait, I got you hooked on, uh, hooked on, ah, oh, uh, Toxic FPV at that, that show Utopia is insane so far. What have you been watching? To be honest, I haven't watched Utopia. Uh, I do want to watch it. I'll have to see if I can get some. Um, I don't know what channel it's on or anything like that. But uh, yeah, big shout out to Raven FPV uh, for saying, Hey, Stu, you've got to watch this one. He's saying he's, he's absolutely loving it. So I'm going to do that for sure. And uh, let's see. A $2 donation coming in from uh, Donny with his super chat, I should say. Saying, daylight for you. Yeah, daylight savings for me. A Rodzilla saying, you're seeing and still sucks. I want to say a big shout out to Rodzilla as well. 
uh, a gaming buddy from long, uh, long ago. We've been playing a lot of video games together throughout the years. Thanks very much, uh, Rod. I truly appreciate everything, um, all the fun and adventures we've been having in the virtual world. Sean Williams says, I always thumb the... Uh, something out of it for you thank you very much sean williams another person who's been in the uav crew and fi is saying hey i'm back just finished math don't worry don't let your inner teacher get mad at me especially considering our email no mate i'm gonna say if you are at school truly i'm not as a teacher teachers don't get mad they just honestly want what is best for you they want you to learn and they want you you know uh, well, for me anyway i can only speak from personal experience if if you were out there we want to improve your life. We want you to have a better education, to be able to solve these problems, to be able to function in society and perform at your peak, at your limit, at your best. Um, and I'll give you some advice as well. Here's some advice to any teenagers watching. Don't be a douche. Don't be a tosser uh, when it comes to mucking around in school. Yes, I know. And it's as a kid, I in high school, the amount of stupid stuff that we got up to with our mates is ridiculous. But always be kind um and and just remember still at the end of the day that school doesn't last forever and there is going to be a point when you're like oh i wish i just concentrated just that little bit have a little bit of fun but don't uh don't don't take it too far anyway i am getting distracted grumpy fpv saying uh my teachers wanted me out as quickly as possible russ wolf uh he's remembering his teachers i think it was like adam and eve or something they were russ wolf's first teacher when he first went to school um but uh, he had to go back. He went back for his diploma and it was Adam and Eve's turn. Uh, Donnie, he's sending through. He is like the, uh, sending through the most love today. He's saying, I love y'all. Thank you very much, Donnie, for our daily dose of Donnie, which we had two days ago. Jabby71 is saying, hey, Stu, which advanced kit would you go for? The Emacs or the Beta FPV? Whew. I, I think uh, the difference for me, the drones are much for muchness. I don't know who else says that, but I know I've seen it quite a few times. So the Beta Meteors or the um, Emax drones. I do think the Emax drone might be a little bit better. Uh, one of the Beta kits, you can't even plug into Beta Flight, which really annoys me. It's like locked at its settings that it's got, which I think is a stupid mistake by Beta FPV. Uh, however, the radio that you get uh, with the Beta radio, and I know, look, they're very low quality radios, both the Beta Flight and the Emax, but the Beta radio, um, I have a video here which I can show you on the screen. Let's have a look here. Um, this radio will probably be getting some stupid, let's see, oh, I didn't even get some ads. This radio, check out its range. I take it outdoors just here. Check this out. And I do have some super chats and I will be answering some of those. So check this out. Here's uh, here's me flying around outdoors. Beta, FPV, light radio to whatever it is. The thing linked down below. Blah, 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 blah. And this is probably the perfect the setting. We can do a little bit of a range test. Look at this. We're allowed See how it goes for like an bit. entry level, uh, I guess, FPV Get on with it. So Get on with it. Enough test rambling. Test out its range. Yo, what it's like. Yo, Three, two, one. Donnie sent through another right, super chat as well. We're at the park as well. Took my door. Look, you can see this. Uh, look, just look at the range we're getting on this. It's quite a long way on a little red, and it feels good in your hands as well. Clip that. Yes, it does. I thank you very much, Donnie, for your super check glasses as well. And Gunner is saying at three five one, um, my math, my year ten maths teacher told the whole class that she didn't give a f if we passed or failed. She still got paid. <laughs> Year 10 boys are the worst. You, year 9 and year 10 is really when they're at their pinnacle of just being some jerks. But yeah, cruising around, you can see the uh, little reception down at the bottom right. We're going a fair way on this tiny little radio, and it is much easier to control uh, than the Emax one. So for me, I would probably choose the... There's pros and cons of both, but Emax versus the Beta uh, kit, I, I liked it based on the radio alone. So yeah, that's, that's why I'd be choosing that one. Anyway... Back here to the face cam. Donnie, you saw, you got to stop Super Chat, mate. I'm looking at here. You're the last. If, if I scroll, it's just Donnie, 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 Donnie. You're like the main uh, top donator today. So thank you very much, Donnie, brother. You don't need to do that. There is nothing but love for you guys, for everybody here. We've got 82 people watching. We've been streaming for 69 minutes. That has gone very, very quick. Um, I'm going to have a drink of soda water. Gus is saying he's going to be, he's saying great stream, Stu. And Rob L says a dummy, dumb battery plug as well. Um, oh, on the beta one. Yeah, look, I don't think it's not a dumb. We're talking about on the beta drone, there is a different, I think it's a BTL, uh, Donnie. 
Come on, bro. Come on, mate. Don't don't do this. Don't do this to me. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, the battery plug on the... I can show you, actually, if I go to uavfutures.com. Uh, this one right here. This is the battery plug on some of the beta drones. Uh, screen share. So they've got this. That that can be a bit annoying if you already have a surplus of batteries. However, if you are brand new coming into the hobby and you don't have any batteries, it doesn't make doesn't matter then which one you choose. And also, you can make up some little adapters and that sort of stuff if uh, if you want to, and you get some other batteries down the line. But yeah, this this is actually a better battery connector. Just the batteries are less readily available. So what what's the opposite to readily? They are less common. I don't know. Henry Dark is saying good morning from Mackay in Queensland. So there we go. Uh, that place is a little bit special in my heart, actually. So um, big shout out to all the FPV scene in Mackay. I don't know how many viewers are going to be there. And let's see, scrolling down. There's Donnie's super chat as well. You absolute nutter, uh, Donnie. Thank you very much for that super chat. You know what? Actually, I didn't give Charlie. He hasn't even had a snack for today. The poor pooch. Um, because we only, let me have a look here, we've had Donnie and, yeah, Donnie, uh, that's thanks to you, brother, Charlie gets his first snack of the day. Let's, here you go, look at him, there you go, Charlie, sorry about that, buddy. And here's our other one. All right. He's saying, have another one. He's sent through foil 20. Donnie, stop it, bro. Come on. Come on, man. All right. I just, oh, um, Kiz Bartlett's saying, random, what's his first name? I don't want to, I'm not going to, that's not after, I'm not going to be uh, doxing that. Random family man saying, Stu lost his uh, sausage in, in Mackay. All right. Uh, Kyle Ray says, I bought the Tiny Hawk 2 and need a lot of, and... And need a not too expensive radio for my first first radio. What would you recommend? Same for goggles as well. I would recommend uh, Donnie, you you absolute nutter. Thank you very much. I would recommend the Beta Radio Two. That was that radio we were just talking about. So from Beta FPV, the Light Radio Two or Light Two Radio, whatever it's called. I don't like the name of it. It's dumb in terms of the name, but that's what it was. And if you want some cheap goggles, these bad boys again at uavfutures.com. Uh, let me know too. Thumbs down if you don't have this bookmarked. I would just like a little, uh, or a thumbs up if you have this bookmarked. Thumbs down if you don't have this bookmarked. This is this page here, UAV Futures. If you've never gone to check it out, there truly is some really good information on here. Like, and all these questions can be answered. So this radio right here, it is, if I go to screen share, the Hawkeye little pilot goggles. You can watch this video there as well. If I copy this, I'm going to paste that. Uh, these goggles, these are my cheap recommendations. So for uh, if you are if you can't spend any money at all, this is the bare minimum that I would recommend getting. This mixed with a Beta Light Radio Two, uh, probably mixed with a Mob Six or a Nazgul or something, you could still have a fantastic FPV experience that will let you get a lot out of this hobby. Yes. You are still going to want to upgrade after you're flying around with these goggles. And same with the radio. However, this is as cheap as you can go that I would still be comfortable flying this around. You're still going to have an awesome time. All right, I want to say a big shout out. Thank you very much uh, to Bad Manners FPV saying, Did I miss the stream? No, he sent through some love as well. Um, Donnie's saying, Hit men. Donnie as well as Bad Manners. Thank you very much for the love. Uh, we've got 86 thumbs up and 85 people watching. It's not that you missed the stream, Bad Manners. We might just be changing the time because of daylight savings. So, uh, it's going to be 10 a.m. my time. I don't know what that means, uh, for other people out there. I know there's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period. And who is new here? Is there anybody who's just tuned in for the first time? Because we've got 84 people watching. Um, and our age says, why don't you tell us the, okay, it, Here's a good one. So I can, I think I can tell somebody's age based on some of the comments that I've said. And interesting, ironically, this person is called R Age. He says, "Why don't you tell us the price and currency? I hate having to convert it from USD to AUD." And I would say that is probably a selfish way 
here, here I'm telling people off uh, because I want people to think about it a little bit because I get a lot of flack about it and here I'm going to give a bit of flack back to those people. So yes, you might hate having to convert from AUD to uh, from USD to AUD. I understand that and I understand for the 5% of my viewers, the demographic there that are Australian, it might be a bit of a pain in the butt to have to think about US dollars and convert it back to their Australian currency. Now, if you are you know, an adult and you have some experience in your life and you're in Australia, you probably know the value of the Australian dollar to the US dollar so you can make a quick assumption on, hey, oh, it's a, it's 100 US dollars, it's probably, you know, 120, 130 Aussie dollars. No problem, you can do that bit of an estimation in your mind, however, if I said, and by using the US dollar, I can also, not only to my US viewers, which is the largest demographic, that's great, that's for them, they don't have to do any converting, no problem. But let's say you're in India, you're in China, you're in Japan, wherever you are watching, you know the value, most people, if you're well, you know, not even well informed, most people will know the value of their dollar against the US dollar. So it is a much less selfish thing that I can do. It makes my job easier for everybody overall, rather than making it really convenient just for Australian viewers. It is averagely convenient for everybody who is an international viewer. So that is the way that, uh, that's why that is done. Now, I don't know if any people ever think about that, but yeah, RH says, yeah, but there are a lot of American YouTubers, but you're the best because you're the only Australian. But we're all in this together, my friend. It's not about whether I'm Australian or American. It is just about letting, giving people access to the right information that they can make the right choices and, and have some easily digestible information as well. And that's why I use US dollars. It'd be like what happens if I did it in uh, Indian rupee, Nepalese rupees or something like that. People would be like, oh, why are you using that? It's the same sort of thing. The reason I use US dollar is because uh, it is easy to convert. Nobody out there really knows the value of Australian dollar dues besides like the five Aussies who are watching this. So uh, there we go. There is my rant on why I use uh, US dollars. It is not, uh, not to be a pain, but uh, it is purely because it is the less selfish, easily digestible for the majority of, uh, of viewers out there and the international uh, community. All right, we've got uh, some love coming in from uh, Rodzilla, and uh, I got to say, this I never understood this until years later. So I'm looking at this. It says, "Give Charlie a treat for me." Absolutely. Uh, but the back Rodzilla's little banner there, if you see it, it's like a Godzilla picture. I never knew that it said Rodzilla across the back. I only realized that a long time. So little spines of his Godzilla icon are actually, uh, they say at Rodzilla. So that is very, very cool. Going down here to Doggo Cam. And Donnie says, blah, blah, blah about the dollars. <laughs> and he sent through some dollars as well. So thank you very much. So this one, there you go, Charlie. The end of the stream is when Charlie gets his snack. Oh, finally, I've been waiting for breakfast for like 58 minutes, guys. And we've got some. That was from Rod. This one's from Donnie as well. Thank you very much. Uh, Grumpy FBV says, what about pounds? And there we go. And Mr. Uh, Superman is saying, if I've accidentally bridged the terminals uh, for motor, then powered up, would that fry my motherboard? Um, I don't know what... Well, like, do you mean flight controller? I don't know what you mean here by motherboard. Like, we're talking PCs, we're talking drones, and then you're hooking some motors up, bridge the terminals. Um, I need, uh, if you've bridged something and it's not supposed to, regardless if you're talking about computers, drones, whatever it is that you're referring to, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to fry and it's not going to work. Um, let's see, scrolling down. Uh, we've got Monkey FBV says, I'm old enough to remember a time when the Aussie dollar was close to the US dollar. I bought a Fender guitar uh, for peanuts and brought it back home on the plane. That is pretty cool. Um, and Bad Manners FBV says, What about. Uh, he sent through this donation for me to read this out. What about Kroner Grand? What's the worth there? I don't know. I'm going to have to do a Google. Is this something that I want to be punching into Google? Um, let's have a look here. Uh, South African, I don't even know what that is. It's a bit of gold. One, okay, one Oz Kroner Grand gold bullion is worth about $3,000. So, um, yeah, that's, you know, we're going to need a couple of decimal places. Uh, if you feel free to 
you know, if you want to send one of those, I'm I'm happy to uh to, to, to review that for you, my friend. That's like a new car, not a new car. That's a, that's a a fun car, I guess here in Australia. All right. Uh, Henry Dice saying, hope you have a wonderful day with your family. That is the same for everybody else. We're about to do our clip that. It's clip that, yeah, which is one of my favorite segments of the show. Uh, but we needed 100 thumbs up before we're going to continue and check it out. So we are, we need 11 more people. If you're just watching, if you just tuned in, strap yourself in, grab yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, because this, I promise, will be the funniest part of your day. And it is something that I have truly been looking forward to every single week when I see the clip that I am blown away with how special, how much work people put into them. And Kiz and Random, thank you so much for just being absolute legends as well. I'm sure everybody here can appreciate that. Um, someone sent Stu a bot coin. <laughs> okay. That might be from Bot Grind. We'll hang it up in the background as well. Um, and at Bad Manners, are you from South Africa? That's from Vi FBV. And uh, let's see what people are up to. We're at 92 uh, thumbs up. So man, we're just going to have to wait just a little bit longer. While we do that, I did say we'd check out some of your videos. Uh, so we're going to click on share. Uh, this one, this is Big Oily Guy for my real rippers let's go to full screen on here i'm gonna to have to press pause on the music jrb has sent through some little donations as well and he has said if i go here to doggy camp charlie treats thank you very much uh jrb it really is appreciated and there you go charlie thank you charlie for just you know just being a good dog actually you are you are a good dog a bit stinky sometimes and you know, you want far too many pats, but that's probably most dogs. But I also want to say, JRB and everybody else who has sent through some donations today, it really does make a difference. So, you know, it's been it's been tough, it's been tricky, but thank you for just supporting what I do here on the channel. You might think that $1 or $2 or $5, you know, like that you just sent through might seem like nothing. Um, you know, oh, it's just a couple of bucks, no biggie. It might seem like that to you, but it truly does make a difference to me to my income and what we do here as a channel. This is my full-time job, and I just wanna say, I know there hasn't been that many videos lately, and yeah, that's thing, things have been tough, and especially with the six-month lockdown, but I wouldn't be able to do it without those acts of kindness. So thank you, thank you just for for helping me out. Thank you, I just wanna say thank you, Vaughn, just for me as a personal level, thank you. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna get uh, some songs up here. So if I go here, and Bad Manners are sent through. So lol, yes, it's a Lethal Weapon movie re reference. Okay, <laughs> all right, um, and let's have a look here. I'm gonna go to my copyright free music. What's this one? Chase, let's breathe closer. Let's see, let's see, how good is this? Is this the music that we want? Or do we already have that? Oh, we've already had that one. We've had that before. Okay, this is what we're going to play. Um, and then we're going to be having a look. We've got 95 thumbs up. We're at... We need five more before we can do clip that. Go on to screen share. Here we go. Let's see if this music will fit. Oh, wait, was that an actual transition? Was that real? Okay, no, that was legit. That was legit. Nice stuff, cool stuff. Gunner's sending through some love as well while this is playing. It says, thanks for helping me, keeping from going nuts through lockdown. Absolutely my pleasure, Gunner. Thank you for just, just being a mate. So I want to say thank you. Man, this is some good flying, actually. Except I'd be worried about breaking my GoPro here. This, it looks very, very unforgiving, especially if you're doing some flips and rolls and power loops into this sort of stuff. Just asking for a smashed quad. Uh, Vi is saying, time for clip that. Yeah, mate, we've got to get four more thumbs up before we play some play some clip that. That's just how it works. All right, so we're cruising around in here just a little bit. Man, I, I can't believe how... Oh, nice recovery. I was just about to say, I can't believe how much he's been flying without breaking something. My phone is buzzing there. Alright, so do we get out of this environment or do we spend most of the time in here? 
I think the whole video, oh no, here we go, we're about to transition back into Inside, we're at 98, uh, thumbs up, almost at 100, and here we go, Inside, yeah, this is just asking for tetanus though, don't be walking around in here in bare feet, kids, whew, alright, so, big oily, definitely got some skills, there's a basketball, This must, is this an old school, because there's a basketball hoop, uh, just back up there, hmm, I don't know how I feel about flying in these sort of places. Like, I know bandos are cool, but they're just so unforgiving. One clip into the wall, you know, got holes in the floor. Um, I'd love to see the actual digital feed that he was he was getting as well, or is he flying on analog? Oh, and the music's finished. So there we go. I'm going to press pause on this. Thank you very much, Big Oily, for posting that right here in the Share Your Vids. If you ever want to have your video played as well, you can just drop it in here on Discord under Share Your Vids. We checked out a randoms video as well, but it's going to be time for Clip That. It's Clip That, yeah! Where if I go down to... Imagine if there was no Clip That entries this week. I'd be like, oh. And, uh, sorry boys, if I jump down here, let's have a look at Clip That. Oh no. Oh, Kiss's thumbnails. He's putting some very freaky thumbnails on here. It's clip that called Stu's Secret Place. I mean, check this out. If I uh, scroll it up like that. There you go. You can see the thumbnail right there. Um, very interesting. All right, so we're going to press play. We're going to watch randoms this week. Stu and random tell a joke. I'll unmute. Here we go. We'll go full screen. Here we go. Ready? This is part of clip that. Hey, Stu. Live from the customer's roof. What does a 12-inch sausage and an onion have in common? Both make your eyes water. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm telling, telling some jokes. What does a 12 inch hey, sausage and an onion what? have in common? The customer's roof. Do what some work. Do some work, random. And an onion have in common. Both make your eyes water. Can you imagine uh, what the customer must be thinking right there? So he's doing some electrical work on the roof. And uh, he's just up there recording some YouTube videos. So thank you very much, random FBV. And also scroll it down here. We've got a couple of people laughing as well. Um, Ryan has just tuned in, uh, imagine, let's see, Raven is saying, I can get rid of that music that I just had actually, uh, imagine how many sta snakes would be in our bandos, yeah, if you went in, no, there's, I don't even want to think about how many snakes would be, uh, in some abandoned places in Australia, how am I doing, wait, that's from, uh, Ryan, I am doing well, my friend, we've got Jay having a laugh as well, Monkey's laughing, Kiss has written a couple of, um, He's got a smiley face and some ha-ha-has. Random Family Man says, solar panels, baby. That's what he's putting up there. We are watching some Clip That episodes, and I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, do you guys want me to press play on Kizzer's Clip That? Because they always seem to be, maybe they're too inappropriate. We've got 90 people watching. We've been streaming for 87 minutes with 102 thumbs up. Are you guys ready? Uh, be warned if you are easily offended. If you uh, don't like inappropriate content, well, uh, just be, here's your warning to tune out now because sometimes these kids clip that. We need to clip that mega montage of from kids as well. That would be pretty cool once we've got 10 episodes in a, in a go. Uh, Toxic is saying, yeah, let's not play kids. Um, <laughs> oh, Toxic is saying snakes are just moving sausages. And uh, is that drunken bullet? Uh, I've got two pair, two pairs of underwear. That's from JFE. All right, we're pushing play. You've been warned. Um, this is called Stew's Secret Place from Kiz Bartlett. Clip that. Donnie, if you can go to uh, go to the special place where we can have our private chat, please. He's passionate about sausage. Donnie, if your sausage is absolutely massive, you're probably talking, you know, 15 centimeters or so. I'm just going to take it as it is. Oh, I'll get it up. Sausage in. Sausage out. Yeah. Oh, God. It was just a pain in the behind. Donnie. Sausage, make your eyes water. Donnie, this is a bad idea. I'm not sucking the lid out of your sausage. Oh I'm just my sucking your God. balls. 
Donnie, I'm sorry. What have they done to you? Donnie, if you can go to uh, go to the special place where we can have our private chat, please. He's passionate about sausage. Donnie, if your sausage is absolutely massive, you're probably talking, you know, 15 centimeters or so. I'm just going to take it as it is. Oh, I'll get it up. Sausage sure. in or sausage. Yeah. What noise? It was just a pain in the behind. Donnie! Sausage, make your eyes water. Donnie, this is a bad idea. I'm not sucking the lid out of your sausage. I'm just busting your balls. Oh, God. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, look at me. Look at these. Clip that. Clip that. Clip that. Oh, gosh. Kiz, you inappropriate madman. Oh, my... I was almost going to say my cheeks are hurting, but I feel like that's too inappropriate to, uh, that would just get my, my, these, these are hurting. <laughs> Back here to face cam, feel like I'm blushing just a little bit. Thank you very much, Random and Kiz, for uh, some very inappropriate sausage discussion. I'm sorry, Donnie, if you've been watching there, other uh, people saying, well, well done, Kiz, you're legend. I have tears rolling down my cheeks. I almost want to say some... Uh, anyway, <laughs> other people, Jay's having a laugh, Grump, Grumpy FV, he's having a laugh as well, Jay's saying, please stop, uh, Vi is saying, holy smokes, this is such gold, Raven's saying, it's your masterpiece, uh, yeah, I, it's every, everything that I say on here, and JRB is sending through some, uh, some, some kisses as well, um, Kiz the Sausage Legend, a Drone's Life, are you, thanks for the stream, great to watch, uh, while I'm in the garage making a hangar to store my planes. Absolute pleasure, my friend. That's probably it for the stream. Uh, Garnett Kensler says, I think that's inappropriate. If you think that's inappropriate, you should watch Bot Grinder's channel. Uh, Random Family Man says he's going to be blush time, blushing next time he speaks to Donnie. Donnie, where are you, mate? You're meant to be in here somewhere. Uh, he's been a little bit quiet. He sent through a whole bunch of donations, and then he's just he's disappeared. We sent him broke. The internet's been cut off. So, uh, there we go, Donnie. Uh, thank you very much, kids. Other than that, uh, I want to say subscribe for more FPV-related content. I can't believe that's the end of the stream, that it's gone so quickly. Oh, we've already been streaming for 92 minutes. Um, I hope you guys got this part. This part I do want to make clear, though. You guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope it was able to just help you have some fun and just brighten your day up, brighten your evening up, whatever it may be. We are here for you. Jump on the Discord and have a chat. Because you all deserve to be valued, you are all cared about, and I want your day to be a little bit better. 2020 has been super crummy for a lot of people, and yeah, I just want to say that you deserve you deserve to be happy, and you are valued, and I'm appreciative that you are here, so so thank you. Uh, Random Family Man saying, Stu, fix the pinball. Yeah, I'll do it this afternoon. Drunken Bullet, uh, he's saying, have a good one, peeps. The Madman sending through one final donation there of the uh, of the day. We'll give Charlie a little snack as well. Um, right here, so here you go, Charlie. This one, this is from Drunken Bullet. Oh, yeah, that's delicious. One of the legends himself. Uh, right here, let me know uh, how you went to with the, with the stream times. This is probably the time that it's going to be from now on. Uh, Garnett is saying you're you're welcome. Uh, Donnie's saying what, Kiz? So there he is. Yeah, you've got to watch those clip that segments, Donnie. Um, lots of love for you there, my friend. Apparently, we've got some some big love specials between us. <laughs> oh, Johnny DRC saying good night. Um, and random family man saying Kyle Ray, you need to do a donation. <laughs> oh, how do we enter the giveaway? That's what that's what he's talking about. Okay, it depends. We actually haven't done any of the jackpot giveaways for for a little while. Maybe we have to have a look at that in just a little bit. Um, and let's see. Sometimes we do like our big spinning spinning name wheel thing as well. Uh, we've had a couple of winners in the past. We've had Toxic. We've had Sean Kiz has won one. Um. Let's see. I think test pilot Tim, uh, Asian Knight. So yeah, we've had we've had a couple of cool prizes as well. JPV saying bye. Uh, what other hours there? It's just coming up on eleven forty. And Toxic saying uh, word word. Uh, it's a huge sausage. So y'all, Donnie saying see y'all. Nothing but love for every single one of you guys out there. Subscribe for more FBB related content, and I will see you guys on Discord. Please jump on Discord and. Um, yeah, other than that, we just 
I just want to say thanks. So thanks, and I hope you have a great day. All right, catches. Friday, Saturday, Monday in Australia, or the or wait, they the streams are Friday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday in America, Friday, Saturday, Monday in Australia. It's at uabfutures.com as well. If you go there, you can you can see it. Let's have a sausage after party in the Discord. Yeah, if you just want to talk FPV, meet some friends, feel free to jump in Trev personal bleep line. See virals in there. school brother you shouldn't be hanging out in voice chat <laughs> 